I'm Peter Block in New Orleans at the AH annual meeting. To my left is someone who needs no introduction. Steve Nissen has, is worldwide known and now has uh, reported on a trial that all of us are a little uncomfortable about, I think. All of us take non steroidal anti inflammatory medications, and we've always thought that some of them were better than others. And Steve now has some data and a new trial. And this is uh, sort of uncomfortable news for some people, Steve. So tell me about the trial to start with. It's a complex trial, not a great detail, but let's get to the bottom of it. 24,000 patients started after the withdrawal of Viox. It started in October of 2006. It's taken 10 years to get this answer. 24,000 patients uh, randomized to celecoxib, ibuprofen, or naproxen, and the primary uh, intent of the trial was to determine whether celecoxib had the same increase in cardiovascular risk as rofecoxib or Viox that had been withdrawn. Okay, so all of us have been saying, well, maybe if I take a little leave, it isn't going to be so bad, and because you know, it doesn't do the bad things that we know that some of these medications do. Um, the outcomes are complex, Steve, but tell me a little bit about them because they're important issues. Well, the primary endpoint is what really counts here, which is a non-inferiority hypothesis. Did Celebrex, Celecoxib, was it non-inferior to either naproxen or ibuprofen? And the answer was actually the lowest event rates were with celecoxib, although it wasn't statistically lower than ibuprofen and naproxen, but it was clearly non-inferior. The p-value for non-inferiority was less than 0, 0, 001. So we now know that the risks that we're seeing with rofecoxib do not appear to be shared by celecoxib. Okay, so what's the take home message here, Steve? I mean, now we have data to support all this stuff. And for all those folks out there that need anti-inflammatory agents, what's the story? Well, I, I think we can certainly be comfortable in giving patients an increased cardiovascular risk, celecoxib. There were some safety differences that emerged. These were secondary endpoints, so we tend to de-emphasize de them. But there were a lot more gastrointestinal events, including significant bleeding resulting in iron deficiency anemia with ibuprofen and naproxen than there was with celecoxib. And you would expect that based upon the mechanism of the drug. And perhaps the biggest surprise was there was about a 60% increase in kidney events, including doubling of creatinine or kidney failure with ibuprofen, and that was really unexpected. Okay, so uh, we've got to figure out some kind of a couple of take-home messages here, Steve. Uh, give me the short version of what the right thing to do is for our patients that have a high risk of vascular disease and still need something uh, for an anti-inflammatory? Well, first of all, I believe that the right answer, if you're going to take any of these drugs, is take the lowest dose for the shortest amount of time you can. We have several choices. Uh, we've added to our understanding that celecoxib is a very reasonable choice. It's not worse than ibuprofen or naproxen, but I would still advise people take the lowest dose you can for the least amount of time that you can. And I think it's important to point out these trials were in people that really needed the drug. They were pharmacologic drugs, yeah. uh, that uh, doses that needed to be taken each day. So they w didn't have the luxury of taking them for a few days and then stopping. These were osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis patients that had to have six-month history of needing these drugs every day just to get through the day, to get through their activities of daily living. That's not the same as taking an occasional drug for back pain or headache or whatever. These were prescription, very high doses, given every day to people who needed these drugs to function. Okay, so not exactly like many of the population that take non -steroidals. but nonetheless, I guess the bottom line is be careful if you have to take them and don't take them for very long if you can possibly do that. That's correct. Thank you, Steve.